wheelchair, but we'll be there to oppose Mr. Buecher's release, make sure that he stays locked up in prison forever. Prosecutors consider him one of Kenton County's most prolific child molesters. Last week, 31-year-old Matthew Buecher was convicted of dozens of felonies, including statutory rape. And this wasn't his first conviction and likely will not be his last trial. Nine on your side's Josh Bazan is live to explain why investigators say the case against Buecher is not done yet. Josh. Hi guys, well investigators are still trying to identify dozens of other victims in this case. These different criminal cases are all tied back to the same investigation that found homemade child porn on Matthew Buecher's computer. He's already been convicted in two separate trials. These three indictments here are for three new trials scheduled to take place this year. It does seem like a lot of victims um, because it is. Uh, and we have to keep in mind that all these victims are or were children at the time of these events. Five separate criminal cases involving four underage girls. Matthew Buecher was convicted in two of those cases already. He's facing up to 60 years in prison for raping two girls who were 12 and 15 at the time. It doesn't matter how many convictions we get. It doesn't matter how long the sentence is. In 20 years, Mr. Buecher will be eligible for parole, but we are very adamant that we will be there. Investigators say they've identified some new victims from homemade child porn on Buecher's computer, but dozens of other victims remain unidentified. They say new charges in the case are likely. These victims thought that they were in an ongoing uh, romance with Mr. Buecher, and in fact, uh, he was deceiving them the entire time, taking advantage of them the entire time. Investigators say this disturbing and scary situation serves as a reminder to parents to always be careful about who spends time with your kids. The best thing I can tell parents is just be aware of what your children are doing. Uh, talk to them, depending on their age, have access to their accounts, and please pay attention. Uh, these guys are can be very uh, deceptive. Buecher will be back in court here in Kenton County in April, July, and October for his next three trials. In Kentucky, he can only be sentenced up to 70 years for these crimes. Prosecutors expect to hit that maximum soon, but say they will still bring Buecher to court to get justice for all of his victims. Reporting live outside the Kenton County Justice Center in Covington, Josh Bazan, 9 on your side.